Mr. Speaker, this morning I will wish to highlight and to acknowledge the important work that the, <clears throat> the important work that the Ministry of National Security's gang violence reduction team continues to do in our community. Honorable members will recall that the team operates from a coordinated plan to tackle gang violence and anti-social behavior through a series of strategically designed intervention, prevention, intervention, and rehabilitation programs and initiatives. Mr. Speaker, during the summer and continuing into this current school year, the gang violence reduction team has been hard at work. I am pleased to provide some highlights and outputs and outcome data for the programs that were delivered during the summer and are now being expanded upon. Mr. Speaker, this summer saw the successful launch of the gang violence reduction team's work placement and mentoring initiative. Fifteen local companies grasped the opportunity to host 14 student employees for a six-week training program. The program's main objective was to help at-risk youth develop people skills and personal insights needed to transition from an adolescence and antisocial behavior to a life of meaningful work through the work readiness program and work placement experience. Mr. Deputy Speaker, the program evaluation data has been collected and highlights the positive outcomes of this initiative. 100% of the selected students participated in the work readiness workshop. 13 of the 14 students completed the entire six-week program. 12 of the 14 students did not miss a day during their work schedule. Mr. Deputy Speaker, each student was given a job coach and a mentor, a job coach slash mentor, who was responsible for providing weekly coaching, checking in sessions to support the young person during their work experience. These business partners demonstrated their engagement with the program, completing with a 93% completing week evaluations and coaching meetings with students. A total of 118 job coaching sessions were held by the program manager. 100% of the business partners have indicated that they wish to participate in the program again. Mr. Speaker, commitment to the students involved in the program was such that the program manager granted 11 of the 14 students an additional two weeks paid based on their weekly performance reports and supervisor satisfaction. Five of the students have subsequently been hired part-time or in full-time positions by the companies on their own accord. In addition, two students were offered summer jobs for 2020 season. Mr. Speaker, the gang, gang Mr. De Ms. Deputy Speaker, the gang violence re reduction team made two referrals in addition to, to uh, emotional and social support services and supported four students through crisis incidents. It gives me great pride to report that 13 of the 14 students in the program stayed clear of anti-social or criminal behaviors for the length of the program. Mr. Speaker, I would like to commend the gang violence reduction team for the outstanding work they have done with the summer youth placement program. We would like to also extend a thank you to each business partner who agreed to engage in this initiative. Programs such as these allow us to show our young men that there are opportunities outside of life outside the life of anti-social behavior. They also give the work of the business community the first-hand opportunity to develop the work ethic and capabilities of some of the mon marginalized young people. The gang violence reduction team intends to extend this program into the school year to provide students within the, the team's high school programs to experience meaningful work opportunities. Mr. Speaker, honorable members will also be aware that the opening of the Redemption Farm has been a priority for the gang violence reduction team. For several months, the Redemption Farm pilot program has been operational for the last 16 weeks. Ten trainees have been identified as possible at-risk youth and are prone to antisocial behavior. Each one of these participants have expressed their desire to redirect their life towards pro-social and a productive path. Prior to the enrollment in this program, each trainee was required to complete the registration program, which included an interview with the program manager, completing the trainee re registration forms and participating in the trainee orientation led by the gang violence reduction team. Mr. Speaker's trainees work from Monday through Friday, each day comprising of either personal development sessions or farming sessions. Weekly evaluations are completed by the Redemption Farm trainees and by the gang violence reduction team. The goal of the training evaluation is to review and assess the trainee's performance, aptitude, and skill. 
These evaluations help the trainees to understand the key areas that they're doing well and that the areas they need to improve. The Redemption Farm Program has an MOU with the Bermuda Housing Corporation to pay the individuals from this program. Mr. Speaker, the importance and distinct power of education is key. The redemption, uh, the key uh, focus of the Redemption Farm, Tra trainees in the programs, personal development sessions, life skill sessions, job readiness workshops, and career exposure sessions. As a program grows and develops, GED, GED classes will be fused into the sessions which are built onto the Redemption Farm training. Through constructive training and the relevant education, the Redemption Farm aims to equip, equip the trainees to be able to manage their everyday demands and frustrations of life. Mr. Speaker, the program has launched, that was launched 16 weeks ago, trainees have completed 48 personal development Mr. Mr. Deputy Speaker, 48 development sessions. These sessions include word of the day sessions, job readiness sessions, life skills sessions, career exposure workshops, financial literacy workshops, sessions on life changing sessions, goal setting sessions. Mr. Speaker, the Redemption Farm trainees have also completed 32 farming sessions, which include introduction to agriculture, Introduction to tools and equipment used in agriculture. Introduction to garden and design and bed layout. Garden and bed for pumpkins, parsley, cassava, thyme, pawpaws, and sweet potatoes. Clearing farm areas. Introduction to the pra practice of tilling, planting, fertilizing, cultivating, and harvesting. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, Hurricane Humberto created some unavoidable issues, but provided an opportunity for the trainees to learn how hurricanes can affect the production of the crops. I am proud to announce that 98% of the re registered trainees in the Redemption Farm have showed up to work on the scheduled days for training sessions. Six trainees are eligible to receive their GEDs and completed the GED assessment and will begin the GED courses both on the re re reduction Redemption Farm program. One former trainee was connected to a higher education program and subsequently left Redemption Farm. Another trainee left the program after he was accepted in, a apprentice, in an apprentice training program. The current trainees will stay on in the program for another 18 weeks. It is a goal in seeing each of them transition into full-time education and or employment opportunities. Mr. Speaker, the gang violence reduction team has delivered 19, 90, 90 individual case management check-in sessions with the redemption farm trainees. Additionally, the team has supported the trainees through five crisis situations. By all accounts, the program is off to a remarkable start. The necessary systems and structures are set up and functioning, and the team have a clear implementation plan moving forward. Mr. Speaker, the in, at the commencement of the school year in September, the gang violence reduction team relaunched its work with the administration and the student services at the Cedarbridge Academy and the Barclay Institute. Alongside of the Bermuda Police Service, the team strives to provide a much needed support services for at-risk students. Honorable members will recall that at the beginning of the school year, we saw some increased tensions within the school bodies. In response, the team is currently visiting the schools daily to support the management team and build positive relationships with the young people. M Mr. Deputy Speaker, the team continues to provide various support services, including management support services, restorative justice sessions, daily check-ins, we're also working with the school teams to provide individual, student, parent, and family support session. In the school year, the Gang Violence Reduction Team will be partnering with the Barclay Mile Program and launching My Ambition Program at the Cedar Bridge Academy. Mr. Speaker, the Gang Violence Reduction Team continues to make positive influences with our at-risk population. We must continue to support them. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker.